today we're going to be installing the glass black window. window that I've been waiting maybe for over 10 years because I've been lazy and I haven't been setting up my goals appropriately maybe um so our bathroom's right here so the bathroom window is going to get installed right here now what I'm going to do when I run this the top of that glass block is I'm going to either pick the height of that window, the height of this window here, or the height of the slider. What I don't, because you, if you look at them closely and the lines on the siding, you're gonna see that they're two, two different heights. I don't want three different heights on these windows between all three of them. So we're gonna pick whatever's closest and works best with the bathroom on the inside. That's where it's going. So this is our glass block. Glass block. Now I like this glass block a lot because this one here actually has a J channel. So what's gonna happen? The J channel is right here. See the J. And then the siding's gonna rest right inside, just like that. So, but of course I have to have my numbers correct. Otherwise, I'm gonna screw up my siding in the back. So. Definitely don't want to screw that up. It is winter right now. It's cold. So you got to be careful when you remove that siding and cut it that you don't crack it. Once you crack it, you lost it. So. The way I'm going to rock this window in, I'm going to give it a quarter of an inch on this side and on this side. So, all right guys. So this here is the rough number. So we're at 46 and 5 eighths. I'm gonna run the rough opening 47 and an eighth. That way it gives me a quarter of an inch on both sides. And then your height is at nine and three quarters. So I'm gonna go nine and a half we're gonna go nine and a half in the height so you're at nine and a quarter so we'll go nine and a half right there bam bam All right, guys, that glass black window is going to get installed somewhere around here to here. So we're just going to go ahead and take off the siding, um, and then I'll just cut the siding around it. It's, it'll be real, real easy to take this piece and this piece off. Now, what I'm using here today, I'm going to use some snips, maybe. When it's cold outside, you don't want to use snips to cut. You don't have to. Use a grinder. The grinder is going to walk right through it and not crack your siding. This will crack the siding. This guy here is really cool. They call it a zip tool for siding. The way it's designed is that this thing here. Let's see if I can do it. So this is what the zip tool is designed to do. 
you put it on there and just hooks onto that little piece just like that then you can pull it down like this then you just work it down zip tool Hey, 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 Welcome, Emma. Got Emma in here, everybody. She never comes in here. What are you doing? Right. Now I'm pulling center. Sweet, we got the window open. Um, cut the plywood. Now, the reason why I packed the top of it with an inch and a half is because I wanted to match that light block with the window. So that way I have something uniformed. It's not gonna match the slider, it's not gonna match the window. But in the shower side, I wanted to keep the glass block window all the way to the top as far as possible, but then I cheated it down an inch and a half just to match it up with the light block over here. So at least it's uh, level with something. Um, so now I'm going to take and fasten the plywood all the way around the window to the two by fours. Grab the window, grab some roofing nails, inch and five eighths, inch and a half, preferably. Nail the window in place and then tape the window. All right, guys, see this here? That's for drainage. That's the weep hole, that's the bottom. So you make sure you put that on the bottom. 
I'm going to tack in a place with screws so that way I can adjust it um, and just pull the screws out and adjust it. This is a long time coming. Long time. tacked in a screw with a screw so that way I can just pull it right out and adjust it if I need to. Like I said, we pulls guys. The most important thing I can tell you on this one, because this one's got the built-in J channel. If it doesn't have the built-in J channel, you're not gonna have this uh, we pull or drainage hole. All right, on the inside, I have to bring it my way, so that way it's centered in the opening. And that's the reason why I put this through there. The manufacturing instructions do recommend to run nails every hole, so I would just do it. Now we're gonna run some window tape around it. All right guys, on window tape. You wanna buy some good window tape, especially out here in the winter. Um, if you buy the cheaper tapes, the glue on it just doesn't really stick, especially in the cold. Summertime it's not a problem, but in the wintertime it is. You always wanna start off the bottom and work your way up. So this here, we're gonna start this way. They're going to bring this top, this one on top of this one, and then this one's going to fold on that one. Think of it like if water were to get behind it, how's it going to do it? It's going to have to start from the top and work your way down. So, and you want to make sure you press this on. A lot of your guys, they don't like to take the time and go back and, and press it on. It's not going to stick itself, so you do have to go back and and make sure that it is connected to the wall. See how I'm leaving this long right here? We're gonna go back and press the, the tape 100% all the way through. That's left long. Then we're gonna take this and put a piece on it like that. So I ran the tape all the way around. I pressed 100% on all the tape um, throughout. So, all right guys, now we're gonna start putting the siding back up. Now it's a little bit cold right now. It's at night, I apologize. But it gets, God, it's getting dark at like 5.36. I'll take my siding measurements and then I'm gonna put them back in the garage and cut them on my shop. So I got a nice long straight board I can cut with.
So that right there gave me my right to left. Remember, siding, you always want to have a quarter inch gap around everything. So now we're going to take it to the bottom here. So now I'm going to take it and cut it. Now again, I like to use a grinder um, with a concrete saw, with a concrete uh, blade in it. Walks right through it, really nice. All right, guys. 